Aloha, this is DigiSig doing a very swift, hopefully, um, follow up on the AnyVape, uh, on the AnyVape Fury Tank. Um, I got this free from a Facebook giveaway on AnyVape's page, um, like, share, yada yada, um, and they sent me a free one, um, which I was very happy about. It's a sub tank, it's um, interesting design for uh, refilling, it's top fill, and this bit go this bit goes up and down um, to help fill it you've got a you've got a cyclopsy type air hole down the bottom air flow hole down the bottom you've also got the this one on the drip tip and he says trying to find it there you go so that opens and shuts which basically means if you like a um, more flavor so you have it shut shut the airflow shut down the bottom you can get too hot or it can for me anyway um, but then the drip tip one allows it to be cooler, so you can tailor it to more to your liking. Um, plenty of vapor, plenty of flavor. Now I've had this for six or seven weeks. It's got the same 0.3 head in it it's had for at least oh, well over a month. Good, still good flavor, um, still good vapor production. Haven't really had a drop off. I mean, this is now on the um, Kanga sub box. Um, fits fine. And I've been trying to experiment with um, juice. I'm off to China for to teach English, so I want to take the juice with me because I'm, I'm not sure about getting it. But I want to take the maximum vape time amount of juice. So Dave K at um, uh, Vape Fest two three years ago. Was using 30 milligram juice and I went whoa but he was sure that he was vaping less so it was financially better but as far as me it's not about finances because it's my own it's about how much juice will last so I've been using 25 milligram with this 0.3 head around about 40 watts and instead of going through with the Kangas sub tank mini I was going through four th between three and five tanks a day there's only um, a three mil capacity where I only put three mil in it. So you talk about between nine and 15 mil a day. Not that bad if you're mixing yourself because it costs me eight pounds for a hundred mil. So I can afford it, um, but it's not about affordability. It's about weight distribution and amount of juice and everything else now. Um, so I've now got 25-ish um, mil in here. And instead of going through three to five tanks I'm going through one sometimes a little bit more but very rarely because you vape it and you put it down um, so the fact is a top fill is great um, it makes it very very easy to do um, my only problem with this really um, is the actual uh, RBA section too fiddly don't like it um, compared to the KST mini which is the easiest thing I've ever built. Um, this is a pain in the ass. But um, apparently, not, not just the AnyVape Fury Tank, but the uh, Atlantis uh, coils will fit as well. Uh, Pre made co coils. So I've got some of them to, uh, uh, due to arrive. And if they work as well and they last for, for a month, um, it's basically costing me very little to run. And I'm very happy with that. Um, the Fury Tank. Um, I've really enjoyed using, um, I like the way I can play with it, which for me means I can have it at a high wattage. Um, I don't like hot burning vape, I don't like burnt lips. Um, this seems to be the perfect tailor combination for at least uh, stock heads for me, and I've been really enjoying it. Hopefully you can too. Um, I know UK e store has it. It's even available on Amazon.co.uk. Uh, Amazon, um, maybe £20 plus postage. UK e store is about £24 plus postage. Um, worth checking it out if you like it, the idea of a top floor tank uh, and you use stock coils. Um, give it a go. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Take care now. Bye.